My god, I almost just didn't record. Imagine what a disaster that would have been. You wouldn't have gotten to see my gorgeous face. <laughs> take a sip of water. Everyone, take a sip of water right now. Today's video. Hello. First of all, my name is Jake. I'm a traditionally published middle grade and young adult author. And the shirt of the day is my favorite shirt of all time. Good girls go to heaven. Bad girls go to Roku City. I'll try to find where I bought it from to link it and give credit to the artist um because that's what this person is they're an artist whoever made this today's video is going to be half vlog and half pep talk so here's the thing i'm stuck in a rut between a rock and a hard place in that 127 hours boulder situation which that was a real guy and i shouldn't be making fun of that to that guy i'm really sorry and you were so brave and joseph gordon lovett played you really well is Joseph Gordon Levin pro Lev <laughs> I called him Joseph Gordon Levin? Is he Jewish? And is he problematic? Anyway, before we get into how I got out of this rut today, because I do feel like I got out of it, and we have to finish this video before 8 p.m. because that's when Survivor starts. So we're going to get out of this rut fast because it's six. First, let's see how I got into this mess. Jake from eight hours ago, why don't you take it away? I've got my desk set up. I'm about to have my meeting. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm lying on the couch after my meeting with my editor and my editor's assistant who is so iconic. Yeah, I just cried to them for like an hour. We spent the first 45 minutes discussing changes to the plot and all my ideas. And then I was like, full disclosure, I'm frustrated and this book doesn't feel fun to read. And then I started crying. They were nice about it. I feel bad. Next steps are we're going to try to get to the core of the story and make writing this story fun again because that's part of the problem. It is not fun. And we're going to make it happen. So I have right here my notebook in which I wrote some notes. The thing to do with a notebook, isn't it? So I started this day with a good cry and I felt so down about my middle grade fantasy. So uh, for this Camp NaNoWriMo, I've been working on two projects, an adult rom-com that is not contracted and a middle grade fantasy that is contracted. And that is causing my brain some problems because all I want to do is work on the adult rom-com. And what I do not want to do is work on middle grade fantasy that has been causing me some issues for a very long time. I have been worried about its viability, its path forward, just how I can do this and feel good about it and make a product I'm happy with. And so I decided to give myself after I, oops, I had a meeting with my editor this morning to discuss the whole thing. And the meeting was good. My reaction to it was not. I cried in the meeting, which is so embarrassing. Oh my God, have you ever cried in front of basically a coworker? That's really embarrassing. So I decided to give myself today to try to lift myself, lift my spirits, lift my thoughts, and uh, raise them to the sky. And by that I mean I decided to do my favorite thing, which is library and cafe hopping. So I hopped on my bike and I biked straight into a library, crashed through the doors and just, pfft. no, I, I parked my bike and I walked into the building. Scratch that. The first thing I did actually was I wrote outside. The girls are fighting. <laughs> and it was such a beautiful day. And when it's a beautiful day in Seattle, you do not let that go to waste. So I wrote outside. I scribbled my thoughts. I was feeling good. Look at me go. Just writing, 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 sitting by that tree and just chilling. And then I went to the second library which is a beautiful spot in a beautiful building. Changing locations helps me a lot. And when I feel like I'm in a rut, I try to surround myself with busy people and a lot of books. It's sort of like the novelist equivalent of staring at the stars. Like there are so many books in a library on so many topics and it reminds me of my complete unimportance in the grand scheme of things, but also how there's a book for everyone. See why buildings stand up. There will always be an audience for my books. I have to remember that. And even if that audience right now is just myself, I have to find that love within myself. Self-love. This is a pep talk, like I told you. Are you feeling peppy? I just drank a bug straight down my gullet. After I 
finished up at that lovely library and thought about my insignificance, I went to the third library. Just kidding. It was actually a hospital, not a library. I have um, an infusion for my Crohn's disease once every eight weeks, and it really gives me a good space to reflect, to sit, to be poked by needles. But honestly, huge shout out to my nurse today. I feel like I'm like a crotchety old man when I complain about how nurses today, nurses these days, are bringing out Accuvane to try to find my veins. No, poke me, dig around, and find it. And this nurse did it on the first try, and I love her for that. After I wrote a bit at the hospital, <laughs> I, I typically feel fairly tired after my infusion, though knock on wood i'm feeling pretty good right now because it is later in the day and then i took a lovely walk to the place where i got my little treat because you know after i get myself poked with a needle i am going straight to a cafe and it is little treat o'clock i don't remember what time it actually was but it was little treat o'clock and i made one of the worst drink choices of all time i got a an iced london fog which was just like oat milk no, oh my god, it was just regular- did I just drink regular milk? I didn't even ask for oat milk. I wonder if it came with oat milk though. Maybe- what? I'm severely lactose intolerant, but I'm like every lactose intolerant person where I eat a lot of cheese and drink a lot of milk. Anyway, that was a bad drink choice, but I did some more writing, but they were playing the loudest music. So after I went to this cafe, I hopped on over back to the building where the first library was in, and I sat on this chair. I'm including this clip because it's one of the most hilarious things on earth is watching a person in sped up go to this chair. Then in this narration, I say, I'm about to ride my bike to another library. And you know what? This was not a library, but it is one of my favorite places to go, to think, to be one with nature and construction sounds and little kids screaming and having meltdowns. So I went here and I am not a library, but in many ways, isn't the world my library? And I wrote some more. I really felt at this point like I had been to so many locations that there was no way I could have stayed in this rut. You know what I mean? And it was just so gorgeous. And by the time I got home, I was feeling so much better. I took a shower and now we're here. And I just want to say, well, first of all, this is a Camp Nano vlog. I haven't actually like put down words on a like document today, but I've written a lot in my journal. And I'm gonna, after Survivor, if I'm feeling up to it, write those 1300 words because I am doing 40,000 words in my adult rom-com project. So it works out to one, three, three, three. I've said this so many times and I'm always confused by it uh, every day. I caught up yesterday because I had fallen behind the day before because I was kind of having a meltdown. Do you see a theme? But if I have to write 2,600 words tomorrow, I'm going to write 2,600 words tomorrow because on infusion days, I really don't want to push myself. Thank you so much for watching. I really want to know. I'm genuinely curious. This is not like an engagement tactic to be like sound off in the comments, but like seriously, how do you get yourself out of a creative rut? Because this is one way, going to so many different locations, getting yourself a little treat. But I know so many other people have other ways that they get themselves out of creative ruts and I, I want to test all of them out. So let me know in the comments and I will see you tomorrow for another video where I will probably write 2,600 words. Well, love you, bye.